Hey guys, it's me, Marty. And before this video kicks off, I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about a couple of things. So there is a couple of changes just for the month of February. Like y'all remember a couple years ago, maybe it was last year or the year before that, that I did um, so new September because I had so many new products to try out that it was easier to get them all out the way in a row instead of doing First Impression Friday. First Impression Friday, First Impression Friday. So the first part of this video that I taped a while back, I hadn't come up with this concept yet. So I kind of wanted to talk to y'all about it here. This is going to be first impression February because I have so many products that I got over the course of the holidays that in order to keep them on first impression Fridays, I would be going into probably March and it would take them a lot longer to come out than it's taking me to record them. So we're going to do first impression, first impression February this month. So every time I post a video, it's going to be any day of the week, whenever I feel like it, whenever I have time really to edit and put it all out because I'm going back to school to get my master's too. So there's that but not bragging or anything, but I'm pretty darn proud of myself. So every time I post a new First Impression February video, um, I'm going to, at the end of the video, since it is also Black History Month, I'm going to give you some profile in Black beauty. Now, it doesn't, I don't want to stick to, you know, Martin Luther King, Frederick Douglass, Barack Obama, the quintessential, like, package we're gifted every February for Black History Month. I wanted to think in the realm of beauty, designers, um, brand owners, brand creators, uh, influential people as far as fashion goes that are black. Cause I know we're underrepresented a lot. Enjoy this first, no, I don't know if this is not gonna be the first one, but enjoy this edition of First Impression February. I have a um, visit from an old friend. I'm saying this like we're friends. Yeah, me and Kylie Jenner just like ride around on our G-Wagons and just drop thousands of dollars on two-year-olds um no i'm kidding so this is a kylie cosmetics review i have two sets that came out at ulta for christmas i of course got them late because i wanted to get them on sale so this one is the kylie holiday lip set but this one came with three products it came with crystal high gloss the kylie matte liquid lipstick which i already have and the coconut lip liner so this one at ulta originally was $36 when it went on sale and I snagged it for half off it was $18 so of course y'all know Kylie ain't cheap so that is quite a price difference and then the second set I have is an even better deal it is the holiday try it out Kylie set so this set comes with a blush and we're going shopping it comes with a pressed powder duo um I'm assuming that's an eyeshadow wait what's this almost Friday thing okay a uh, a lip liner and ice latte a velvet liquid lipstick which i've never tried those i've never even tried that formula so i'm kind of excited to try that um in the shade bare and then a matte lipstick in the shade almost friday so i've never tried the matte lipsticks either not i've tried the liquids but not the matte so i decided to try these two out so um oh i forgot to give you all price on this so this um tried holiday kit is a 74 dollar value the packaging together was $49 at Ulta. I got this one for half off for, oh, for $24.50. So again, $24.50 is one lip kit. Want to see what I think about both of these products, both of these sets from Kylie Cosmetics. You can just keep on watching. Thanks. Okay, guys. So the first set that I am going to try out is this one. It's called the Kylie Holiday uh, Lip Set, which again, I have been using Kylie Cosmetics for so long that I mean, I just, I really wanted to try. I don't have anything like this. It's so pretty. I love the packaging, the pink and which honestly, the $36 is already a good deal for it. This would be a $47 set and it's it was on sale for $36. That was the original price. Um, $18. So $18 is literally just the price of the high gloss. So I'm excited to try it out. So let's light it out. This is actually the first time I've seen it. I've never opened it or anything. I'm excited to see it. So I love the little uh, glitter on the top. And of course, the magnetic Kylie. On the back, she tells you she... I'm acting like she's like there. like, And they have little swatches of each one. Okay, so before we get into the whole thing, um, I do want to go over Kylie. Let me slide it out. I've never actually seen these, so I'm kind of excited to see what they look like. So, oh, you push it out. Okay, cool. So this is what they come in. I'm going to keep the box, of course, because y'all know how I am. This is the Kylie. I love this packaging. Y'all, this is made really well. Like, I don't know if it's cardboard or something, but it's just made really well. So this is the Kylie lipstick. I'm going to take this out because I want to talk about this first because I'm going to put it away in a minute. But this is the actual Kylie lipstick. 
So this is the original one that came in the lip kit. And then this is the one that came with the set. So the only difference is everything that's black on this one is now silver on this one. I guess to symbolize the holidays. So of course, I won't be getting rid of it or anything. I'm just going to put this one in my travel bag. And I'm going to put this one in the lip kit where this one was. So, so I'm so excited to try their lip liners, y'all. Like I have a high gloss bundle, so I'm, I already kind of know what those are like, but I'm, I'm gonna use crystal today. So this is coconut lip liner. I see a lot of people use this one as just a real pretty new because if y'all don't know, if you're not familiar with Kylie's lip liners, they are notoriously very, 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 very smooth. Like they're my favorite. Um, Them and ColourPop are running a close race for me as far as lip liners go, because people seem to love the MAC ones. I don't love them as much as the ColourPop and the Kylie, so. Okay, so this lip liner is really pretty. It's a brown, and the Kylie lip liner is a shade or two darker than the actual Kylie matte lipstick, so it's not like a direct match. That Kylie lip kit, aside from Candy K, Kylie, the Kylie color, not Kylie Jenner, but the Kylie color is my favorite. Uh, it's either Kylie or Commando. I don't know, I really love both of them, but Candy K is my favorite, but then Kylie, then Commando. I never do this, but I would fill in my entire lip with coconut. Okay. So that's the lip liner. Again, very pretty. It's a pretty, very neutral brown, which I, of course, love. As y'all know well, I love a good nude. So that's coconut. And then this is the Kylie High Gloss in the shade Crystal. Again, it is pretty similar to the other one. It, The rest of them, it's just silver, which I think is beautiful. And I'm not going to go too much into the high glosses because, again, I did review the high gloss bundle. Oh, actually, I'll put a card for that one, too. So I'm going to say already just... Pulling it out the tube, it seems like this formula is a little thicker than the old one. And this is what I hate about clear glosses. I already messed up the wand, which means the gloss is going to change color a little bit, but it's cool. I really like this. So the formula for this one, like I said, does feel slightly different than the original high gloss bundle. So again, if you're not familiar with the high glosses, they are very, very shiny. They are very like mirror shiny. I had my lips are like super dry. I don't know why I had a migraine for a couple days. So maybe it's just the, um, the medicine sometimes will dehydrate me. That's why I've been chugging my Dasani. I've been chugging the crap out of this Dasani because of that. But after applying the high gloss, you can't really see it because it's so shiny. Lip kit, not the try. This is the Kylie holiday lip set so i personally do love the high glosses i do love the matte lipsticks i never tried a, a, a lip liner and i tried it coconut is amazing i love it i wonder if there's going to be a coconut lip kit that might be that would be kind of a good that'd be a good thing to do i think kylie i think that would be a good thing to do a coconut lip kit because that pretty brown shade is just beautiful so for this one for the holiday lip set just for the holiday lip set I am definitely going to give it five diamonds. I really like this kit to say I paid $18 for. It's a great introduction. If you're not familiar with Kylie Cosmetics and the formulations and everything, this would be a really, really good introduction for someone that's wanted to try it, but either couldn't afford it or wasn't sure which one to get. Even if you're off a shade or two, all of these play well together. So if you think the Kylie matte lipstick is too light, you line it with the coconut liner, you're good to go. Or you don't want to do lipstick that day, that crystal gloss is everything so there are like so many things in this kit that i've never tried so like it has i never tried the blush i've never tried the powder i've never tried the velvet liquid lipstick so i'm really excited so look how pretty it is when you slide it out yay this is the first time i've actually seen the inside of it so the pink i die y'all know i love pink so packaging on this product first of all let's let's just let's just go there so we talked about the other one when i did the lip the lip tryouts so this pink glitter i love it's just beautiful it's the same exact packaging as the other one which is good because i plan to display them um so they're gonna look good together and then the packaging on the inside is just like the other one except and i want to talk about each one individually when i use it there's just so many more parts of this one than the other like you could do almost a whole look on this one i can't get the eyeshadow duo out so this is the eyeshadow duo it's very cute it's uh quartz and topaz oh i like that they did that so one is a metallic and one is a matte quartz is the metallic and topaz is the matte like i have tried their eyeshadows i actually have to take my vacation palette so i haven't tried these though the little duo first of all the color the powder pink y'all know i love oh i see okay oh i thought it was a twist off top it's not at all it's a little it's like a little compact so you just push it open like that that is so cute I like that they're similar. Like, I'm probably going to use this for the lid today. Now, the thing is, since it is, in fact, a duo, it's just two of them, 
I almost always need like five colors to make a like a normal everyday eye look. I know that's a lot, but I'm going to swatch these two quartz. So that's quartz. Very, very, very metallic, very shiny quartz. Ooh, I like the texture of it too. It's really buttery. And then this one is topaz and this is the matte shade. So this is the matte shade topaz. Okay, I can't really see topaz that much. It's kind of close to my skin tone. I don't think it's the color's fault. So I might go with topaz as an as a transition color because I, I like that. I'll do topaz. I'll try it as a transition. So I'm going to have to incorporate another palette or something in with this. So maybe I will use the Kylie palette just so that it all goes together. Only because, like I said before, it's just, it's just two. I cannot do anything with two eyeshadows unless i'm like on a super rush which I, I don't think i've ever been on a rush that hard and not like if i'm that much in a rush i usually just won't do eyeshadow so just picking up some of topaz on this big fluffy bogache brush that i always use my mirrors backwards picking it on obviously i'm prepped primed um brows are done brows are carved out and i always have to make sure y'all can see stuff on camera because i swear there's sometimes that it's um hard for me to like it looks different when I look at it in the mirror than it does when I look with y'all. And sometimes I'll be going back through um, like um, editing the videos and I'm like, what was I talking about? That made no sense. Or that product was nothing like that, but I don't see it in the mirror like I see it in the viewfinder, you know? And also if y'all can see, I already have a little bit of highlight. That's just cause I carved out my brows today using the It Brow Pencil. I mean, It High, what was it? Brow Lift. Okay, so that is the transition. That's Topaz as a transition color. I like it as a transition color. I actually am going to go back and use it on my lid as well in the outer corner. And then I'll put the other one in the inner corner. So I'm going to go and use the rest, use the other palette, finish the rest of the look. And then I'll come back for lid work with y'all. So I am back with the rest of my eye look done. And I also carved out my lid. And all I did with the lid was um, use the Milk by NYX. I use the Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil. And that's just because I really like to get a white base when I'm really, really trying to see what a product looks like. Um, because obviously white is the best primer to be able to really see the true color of the uh, eyeshadow. So I am going to be using the Take My Vacation Mirror now since I was just doing the rest of my looks with this, the rest of my eye look with this. I'm gonna actually use the Take My Vacation brush to apply Topaz on the outer corner. So on the, art, the outer half, I'll do a good bit. So I'm going to go in with this brush. It should be all right. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. See, Topaz is a lot prettier than it was earlier. Now that I can see it on a white background. All right, Topaz. I will say, like, if you have a really good transition and you're bringing it back and forth or you're traveling or something like Topaz, do you have another palette that you want to use? Like, um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette doesn't have, to me, a lot of really great transition shades. Um, so that would be like, if I would use that palette or bring it somewhere, I would probably bring this one in as well, just to, uh, all right. So I'm going to open this back up. I'm going to use my Bogache very flat shader brush that I love. I've used this brush in every eye look, probably since I got it. Anytime I use any metallic, actually at first I was even using it with, when it wasn't metallics, just cause it was such a good brush. I just would use it for everything. So this is Topaz on the brush. I mean quartz, sorry. Oh, quartz is pretty. Okay, so what I decided to do today was kind of overdo the inner part of the lid, like create kind of a cut, a cut crease, and then even take it down the nose. Instead of doing like a tear duct highlight, I'm just going to take the inner lid all the way down, which I never have done before, but I wanted to try it today. That's really pretty. I was looking at this Take My Vacation palette doing the rest of my look, and I realized that there is no uh, brow bone highlight in it. Do you see one that I don't see? There's none that I really was obsessed with using today, so I decided to go back in with Topaz. I mean, um, Quartz, which is why I decided to come back. The Take Me On Vacation palette brush, just the other side, the fluffier side, to kind of blend everything together before I add that highlight. Okay, so I'm going to use this long-stemmed, handled IMU heart brush to apply Topaz to this kind of tightly bristled flat brush. A little bit or a lot of bit. Oh yeah, that's beautiful for a highlight. Okay, I figured it would be though. It's really shimmery, but not white. Like it's a pretty um, sandy highlight. It's really pretty. When I came back, full transparency, I want to show y'all how much time do you use a product because you might like something and love it and think it's so cute and whatever and the packaging is all that and bag of chips. But if you don't use it, it doesn't really matter that much. So I wanted to make sure I came back on and just showed y'all what I thought of, how, like since I used it 
so many times so i used each of these shades twice in my look i used topaz in as the outer lid color and as the transition color and then i use quartz on the inner lid and in the highlight so okay guys so most of my look is done which means it's time to go back to our next new product so the next thing in this lovely kylie set is actually the blush which i've never tried her blushes before so i'm very excited to try this one this blush. okay let's talk about the packaging first so cute so this is the little packaging it's that same powder pink of the rest of it um it just says kylie on the front kylie jenner on the back it has a it says kylie kylie jenner press blush powder and we're going shopping i'm assuming this like big tab is you know symbolic of the color oh it's very pretty okay kylie okay so this is the blush itself <gasps> that's a really good size brick i always felt like her blushes were a little expensive but <gasps> what do i have hiccups but i see where the money comes in so this is a mirror so this is the mirror it's so it's big for a blush mirror like this mirror i don't even have to use this one i'll use this one the rest of the time um I, I like it and this is something that i always think about with compacts because that's what they're made for i always think about if i'm somewhere and i pull this out how cute it's gonna look and this thing looks really cute so you know like you're touching up somewhere i'm just gonna go with my japanese brush let me swatch it first so i know exactly what i'm dealing with here okay so it's kind of uh, okay it's a really really light blush which is not bad people I, I don't know who likes a super bright blush but i personally don't okay yeah it's very like it's gonna be a very natural light flush of color so i'm just gonna go in with my japanese brush blush which i usually use for blinding highlight but okay so it it picked up a good bit there's a little bit of fallout but i'm not mad at it and let's oh i like it y'all so it's a nice little flush of color on it it's pretty i really like this okay so i'm not a super big blush girl. i do love a blush but i'm not a super big blush girl but i like this one it's really i like that it's like a healthy flush and it's not a super orangey pink i mean not orangey it's not a super um reddish pink you know it's like a really um honey color pink which i love i love a nice goldy pink so okay okay guys so the last three products are all my favorite things a few of my favorite things they are all lipsticks. So we have a lip liner, an ice latte, I think is what it's called. Let's see. Okay, so here's our three last, our last three products. We have a lip liner, an ice latte, which again, y'all know I love Kylie's lip liners. They're just so freaking smooth and they just glide on so well. So I want to see what ice latte looks like. Let me see here. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay. I hate looking into a mirror this close with a light because if you do a lot of makeup, like everything looks like so patchy. It's crazy how much, it, how weird it looks on actual real life as compared to on the camera, like the camera because of that light, it makes everything look so pretty. So that's Ice Latte. It's gorgeous. I really like this. Um, Y'all, I mean, I pretty much knew I would. This Now I went over coconut in the other one, so I'm not gonna talk about the packaging or anything with this. And then the last two things are two things that I have not tried from Kylie Cosmetics, which I'm very excited about. So we have a, oh, it's not on here, but on the package it said there's a matte liquid lipstick in Almost Friday. And then there is a velvet, uh, yeah, a lip, a liquid, a velvet, okay, a bare velvet <laughs> lipstick. So you know what? I'm gonna just do this one tomorrow lipstick i'm so excited to try it y'all so let's see what it looks like it smells good so it's like an orangey color oh oh i thought i had like a bubble no it doesn't have it it says kylie on it can y'all see that that's so cute so on the inside of it it says kylie that is so cute and that is such a nice touch i have no idea how much these retail for um but I, that's a I, i'm sure they're expensive but that's a good that's a nice little touch Okay, let me tell y'all as i'm applying it the smell it smells like the liquid lipsticks and it smells really really good and i have to say it feels on the lips actually pretty hydrating let me swatch it on here for you guys to see so that's what it looks like it's almost like a orangey pink nude if that makes sense like a like a terracotta like a, a sienna like a brown a light reddish brown very pretty nude i've never used i, I don't like twist up sticks obviously this one i like and they put whoever curated this box they put the box together really really well because like this lipstick really goes well with that um blush and ice latte is i mean fabulous with this lipstick i thought it was going to be too dark 
Okay guys, so this is not a formal recap like I usually do because I have one more product left to try. I have the Bare Velvet. I wanted to go over with you guys everything else that I tried out today because honestly by tomorrow I could forget most of it. I want to incorporate it in my look tomorrow again, but I just I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. So. so this one, the Almost Friday Matte Lipstick, which is on my lips right now. It's uh, it's pretty, right? Isn't it cute? It's really cute. So this one is, um, I, I like it. Yeah, it dried down too matte. It does look shinier in the middle, but that's not really the shine. That's just my um, light making it look that way. Love the packaging. It's pretty. I love the matte. It, okay, so I was concerned with the shade at first because I wasn't sure that I'd be able to pull off this shade. But I mean, uh, it's pretty. I think it's very pretty. So the liquid lip liner and ice latte, again, Great shade. I love it. It's really pretty. I, um, I just, I really like it. I mean, it's just a pretty nice nude lipstick. I mean, lip liner that you could put under most of your lipsticks. It's just a little bit darker than coconut. And again, that's another one. I wasn't sure I'd be able to pull that one off. The eyeshadow duo in quartz and topaz. Let me show y'all my eye look. Okay. This is my eye look for today. I used both of these shades twice. So I used topaz, which is the matte, the browner shade. I use that on the inner, on, on my, um, lid, lid. Well, I did use it on my lid. I use it on the outer half of my lid. So the matte color right there, that's topaz. And I also use it as my transition shade for today. And then quartz, which a quartz is one of the prettiest, just plain brown shimmers, not plain brown, but like a sandy brown shimmer. Okay. Anyway, so this is quartz on the inside right there. It's such a pretty, um, neutral color that I could wear every day. So this little duo, Although I don't really like duos because again, I need so many different parts for a look that this duo is something I, I don't see myself using that often. I'm probably going to travel with it a lot more because it's just, it's so nice and compact and I just, I really do love it. It's just something I can't see myself using that often just because it's not a whole palette. Gotta put, if you are somebody that's just starting out of makeup, like a kid, like my little cousin, if she was, if she wanted eyeshadows, I would get her one like that because... You're not doing that much, you know? This is so far, now I haven't tried the Velvet again, my favorite product of the bunch, just because I really like the compact. It's such a big mirror. I love the graphic of the drips printed on it. I love the the big mirror though, really, like in the color. Like to keep this in my makeup bag, like, and pull it out and touch up whatever I'm touching up. It's it's super cute. Now, I don't usually touch up blush, just hanging out in public and whatnot, but um, you can tell all of these products are super sturdy like you can tell there's some money that went into these things so so tomorrow i'm going to come back with a different look and we'll look at bear together and then i'll decide if i'm giving both of these a uh how many diamonds it's going to get on first impression friday so okay guys so finally i am back to try the final item in the kylie jenner try it kit so kylie cosmetics try it kit here is our last product the last thing i have to try i i I've had this makeup on all day today so I've, I've been waiting and i'm shooting this part really really late so um excuse some of the smudge eyeliner and stuff like that but it's not about eyeliner girls about lips so um this is the bare velvet lipstick velvet liquid lipstick i have not tried any of the velvets because i'm like i feel like they're in the middle and i'm like an all or nothing girl like i like either a high gloss or a matte i don't like in between things but since this came with the set i decided to try it also i need to mention something else okay the matte lipstick in almost friday this one right here that i tried out last time um i let it dry down to a matte but i didn't try to see if it passed the kiss test this stuff did not move and I don't know how they do that because I've never had a lipstick like a twist up stick like this that did not um transfer when I was using it so I just had to kind of share that because I that was a big deal like I've never seen a lipstick do that so that is awesome so anyway okay so bear I'm going to swatch it really quickly I have the shade commando that's a matte liquid lipstick and I love that. This shade Bare, I believe, came in the same set. Ooh, it was light. Okay. Huh. It came in the same set as um, Commando originally. Oh, it smells so good. But again, it was the matte formula. It was not the um, velvet formula. So this is my first experience with those. All right. So guys, I'm going to go in with the Ice Latte Lip Liner, which 
since I reviewed it here last week. I have used that thing so much that I've already worn the point all the way down and had to resharpen it. It is such a great, um, just really pretty, like darker brown nude color, which is why I'm glad they paired it with Bare because I feel like being able to line it with this and then fill it in with this is going to be, uh, it's going to make it more wearable for me at least. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that y'all can see what's going on. I'm going to use the beautiful blush compact. I love this. The way these all match, I just, I can't, I can't. I want to look at the swatch again a little bit. Okay, now I know they, they didn't claim that it was going to stay or anything, but I just kind of wanted to try it out. Because lipstick is something you usually will be wearing all day, and I personally don't like to reapply, but you know. One of the ones, get the excess off the bottom, and then I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, it is pretty light, so here's what I'm going to do. Instead of like not using it, I'm going to apply it in the high points. I'm going to blot a little bit, and then I'm going to uh, kind of blend it into that iced latte lip liner. See that, it kind of reminds me of the Kylie, uh, I mean the lip kit, the Kylie lip kit. So, so what I'm actually gonna do, because I still think it's a little bit pale for me to wear like out and about, I'm gonna go back with ice latte and just kind of line a little bit more. Just cause I wanna tone that bear down just a little tiny bit. Velvet liquid lip. Um, it looks just like the matte lipsticks, except since it's a special holiday edition situation, it does have the chrome on the top, just like the Kylie one does. Um, so, I mean, of course, I love the packaging. I love the little drips. I like that they kind of um, jazz it up a little bit with the chrome, the silver, the very, very reflective silver um, for the holidays. So that's it on that. The actual lipstick itself, I don't love it just because I don't like the formula, which is why I was not excited when the velvets came out because it's just not really my vibe. Like I really much more prefer a good matte. I love a good matte lipstick. It is pretty. It's not a, it's not an ugly thing. I just, again, you'd have to reply it through, apply it throughout the day. And that's just not my scene. I don't like those. I really much more prefer a matte. But as far as the look of it goes, the look of it is pretty. I mean, it's not most when I have used a velvet, not from this brand, but from different brands, I find they're really shiny. Like they're like almost a satin finish. This one is, you know, it's going to like I can show you all right now. Yeah, it does transfer like crazy, but it's way more moist moisturizing than the mattes. Like not that I find the Kylie Cosmetics mattes to be particularly drying, like more drying than any other matte lipstick. All matte lipsticks will dry you out. That's just kind of the nature of what it is. And if it doesn't dry you off, dry you out, it is not going to dry down to a complete matte. And for sure, it is not going to stay all day. So that being said, I like the velvet for the look and for the fact that it is more moisturizing. But a lipstick that doesn't stay all day is just not my gig. That's all. So it's not that I don't like the product. It's a beautiful product. It's just more that it's just not my style of thing. So the last thing I had was Bear, which I just tried out for you guys, with you guys. And I love it. Again, the velvet formula is not my gig, but I do love um, the way it feels on the lips. I love the color. I just don't love that it's not a... It actually dried down pretty mad, so I don't know what... It, it doesn't stay all day, though, so my biggest issue with it is that it is not long-lasting. It will not last me all day, um, but I do like the color of it, so... There's so many different things in here. Um, the kit as a whole, I have to give it a four out of five diamonds only because the velvet lipstick just is not my vibe. So, um, but I loved everything else in here. The packaging on both of these, all of these products are just beautiful. Like you can say what you want about Kylie Jenner, but that girl can put together some makeup. Like these are just gorgeous. I really wish I would have known about them before the holidays because I would have liked to give them to some people since people know that I, I love Kylie Cosmetics aside from that little snafu we had last year girl um I just I, I wish they would have publicized this a little more because I don't even remember seeing these in the first place but at the same time I knew I wouldn't have paid $49 for this so getting it for $25 and receiving the blush the pow the um eyeshadow the lipstick the velvet lipstick and the lip liner i mean that's an amazing deal like i cannot even tell y'all how good that is so this one gets four out of five diamonds this one gets five out of five diamonds all right guys so for this edition of black beauty this week i have a very cool one because i actually didn't know much about this person so i'm researching for this segment i've learned a lot of things this this edition i have pat mcgrath so for those of y'all who are not familiar with pat mcgrath 
I learned of Pat McGrath because of, um, you know, the, the makeup being done on Beyonce, the makeup that people like really high level people are using Pat McGrath Labs makeup. And I've heard about them all, her, her, I guess, all over the place because it's such a big deal. She is such a big deal. So she is from England. So at one point in her career, she was hailed as the most influential makeup artist by Vogue. And y'all know Anna Wintour is not fixing to just throw these titles out there. And here's the cool thing about Pat McGrath. Aside from having her amazing, amazing makeup and cosmetics line, which if you've ever seen it, I personally can't afford it. It's very, very luxe, but the packaging is beautiful. The pigment is beautiful. It's been just used and just kind of revered by so many people. But the cool thing about Pat McGrath from my research, I could be wrong, please correct me if I'm wrong, someone. My research says that she was not classically trained in makeup or cosmetology. So like how I always have to come on here and make sure I stress that I do not have a cosmetology license. I'm not a professional makeup artist. I do, however, have an art degree. People like Pat McGrath really, really inspire me because she didn't have any training. Like that's all natural. That all just comes from her and what she's learned. So for runways in the 80s, from everybody from John Galliano to um, the late great Alexander McQueen, and her looks were so innovative and so different. It wasn't all just like smoky eye, red lip, you know, glam whatever whatever she really took different elements of art and kind of infused them in makeup and her company her makeup brand has gained a lot of popularity recently and she totally deserves it she is such an innovator and if you have time go and watch some of her interviews and kind of read some of the stuff about her because it's it's all really interesting where she came from and how she kind of built this from the ground up for herself i hope at one point in, at some point in my life i'm fortunate enough to be able to afford to purchase some of her Pat McGrath cosmetics. I mean, from Pat McGrath Labs. But in the meantime, I'll just be satisfied ooing and eyeing uh, at her website and her work. So thank you, Pat McGrath, for everything you did, girl. You are off the freaking chain. Such an inspiration of Black Beauty. Um, I hope to see you next time here on Diamonds and Denim. But also, um, for more information on the products I use today, you can check the blog, the corresponding blog link, which is going to be linked below. Blah, if I could talk. I'll see you guys next time here on Diamonds and Denim. Bye.